Hello everyone. This is the second part of your assignment for week nine. There's actually two assignments in week nine. The first one I've already posted that is up for correlation. This one is using the chart functions or the visualization functions in Excel to find outliers. And um, not necessarily just to find outliers, but using the charts and finding outliers. So I prepared this file for you. It is a file that has uh, 300 stores, assuming that we're assume we're Subway or something like that, some chain that has 300 or more stores. So their store numbers are on the first column. The second column is employee hours by month. We track the average number of employee hours. There could be 10 employees and they all work 34.6 hours, or there could be five employees and they all work 145, or it most likely is a combination of the two. But the number of hours per month, and then the number of revenue that the store generated, and this would be then the number of stock keeping units, SKUs, that were sold. The number of actual units, not specific units, but different types of units. So maybe the store stocks 100 different items um, in this particular month. Then the first example, 40 of those items were sold. At least one of those items was sold. So that's just tracking kind of the inventory. What I have done is I have put in, as I said, 300 records in here. And what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at um, comparing some of these fields, and I want you to use a visualization tool to do it. So I'm going to give you one example. And the first one I'm going to look at is I'm going to compare employee hours by month to store revenue. So I'll go ahead and select both of those columns. And there's a million different ways to do this. As you see in the other video that I posted, the one from YouTube, she shows you a hundred different ways to do everything. So do it however you want. But I'm going to go ahead and insert a chart. I'll pick recommended charts. And... Here is a chart that doesn't look very pretty, but we'll go ahead and select it anyway. Um, because what it doesn't really tell us, it doesn't really tell us when we're comparing store revenue to employee hours. The scales are so far off that everything kind of looks sort of very, well, it looks also very um, linear in, in the sense that um, the revenue that the store generated is tied almost directly to the store hours. So that looks a little suspect. Um, but what I'm more interested in, I'm more interested in these points that are kind of way off the scatter of the other ones. So those to me are pointing out outliers, and that means that your hunt is on. You have to find those outliers, and you have to decide what to do with them. Another one we can look at is we can look at store revenue compared to SKU sold. And we can do a chart on that one. We'll look at a scatter chart here as well. And again, we're seeing that we have the number of stock keeping units on the vertical axis and on the horizontal axis, we have the, the store revenue. There's a pretty tight scatter around this. And in fact, if I sort of expand this, it looks like the number of SKUs that were sold has a direct impact on the number or the amount of, of um, revenue. The problem is these outliers are throwing me off. And so what I want to do is I want to get rid of these outliers. I don't like them. I don't like having them here um, because they're not only are they throwing me off, but they're making the graph because they're such extreme outliers and they have to include them in the graph. It's throwing off the axes. And when it throws off the axes, it doesn't really allow me to see much useful information here. So I'm going to go ahead and again, the hunt is on to find the uh, outliers. What I want you to do is go ahead and Look through the data set and see if you can find what looks to be outliers. They're in there. I planted them myself, so I know that they're there. And then I want you to do two things. One, I want you to find the outliers, remove the outliers. And how would you remove the outliers? You can set the value of the outlier field, or the field that has the outlier, set it to the mean of the column. Just calculate the mean of the column and replace the outlier with the mean of that column. That is a common practice for how to deal with outliers. Um, and then rerun your charts. So what I want you to do is rerun just a couple of charts. You can do employee hours, uh, compare that to store revenue. You can do employee hours compared to SKU sold. You can do store revenue to SKU sold. That's pretty much the only three combinations you can do. But go ahead and run those charts. And you can run them with either scatter plots or line plots or whatever you want. I want you to be creative on this one. But your task is to do one of two things. One, utilize the chart function in Excel to generate a number of charts. And two, identify the outliers replace them with the column mean, and then rerun those charts and show me what those are, okay? Um, when you turn this in, go ahead and turn it in with the charts. You can put them anywhere. You can put them on sheet one, or you can start another sheet and put them somewhere else. Um, but what I want to see is I want to see outlier-free charts, okay? So let me know if, if you have any questions.